Welcome to a new episode of the Dean's List, my friends. Today, we're doing mackerel. Holy mackerel. Shout out to my cousin, Umu Ozen, because we were talking about good canned fish. I told him his mackerel is good, so I'm going to review it. So I've eaten this before, but this is this is good fish, my friends. So, so yeah, so we'll get on with it. King Oscar. We're doing a lot of things from the supermarket. Accessible fish, right? Let's see if we can pop this in front of you. I don't know. This is weird. It's kind of like a cat food can or something. It's not like, uh, what do you want to call? Just peels back. Like that. Like so. Like so. Can we see these fillets? A little hard to see. Essentially, it's just white fish. This is very basic. I don't know how they don't promote this stuff more than tuna. Because it's the most neutral fish I've probably ever eaten. I'm going to try a big hunk of this. See, this is nice. It comes like in big old chunk fillets, boneless, skinless. Very nice looking fish. Just a white fish, you know. And it's only three fifty a can, man. So... Bismillah. This is good, my friends. This is good. This is very... This is a very neutral fish. This is like the fish for non-fish eaters. If you don't want to eat sardines, you could definitely eat this mackerel. For sure. For sure. This would be good... Maybe like with pasta or something. I feel like I could be wrong, but um, I would try it out. I would try it out. Oh, I got another hard-boiled egg left over from yesterday. Little grandpa's lunch episode. Oh, shout out to my boy Brian Knott who lives in Indiana now. He moved a couple months ago. I miss him terribly. I miss you. I love you, bro. I hope to see you soon. So, oh, also Cam Fish Files is a great fish channel. I learned a lot about tinned fish from Cam Fish Files and Matt on Cam Fish Files. So, it's a very good channel to watch. That's how I learned about Rainbow Tomatoes Garden, my friends. I also made an order with them. So, if you want to check them out and check out Cam Fish for yourself, they have a wonderful selection. They're very nice. The shipping, they're not even upcharging you for. Very stand-up company. So, I'll be getting an order from them. I'll be reviewing them soon. And we'll try them out together. But this is very good, my friends. It's almost so plain. I think I got some crackers somewhere. I feel like I need some crackers with this. I don't need crackers with this. But, why not need a cracker with this? I'm a cracker anyway, right? You know? So, same diff. Same diff. But this is such a neutral fish. I'm telling you, this would be like... I could definitely see making this into like a, a tuna salad type thing. And I don't I don't think anybody would know the difference. And they might even compliment you and say it was the best tuna salad that they had in a while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is good, my friends. King Oscar. There's nothing I haven't liked from King Oscar yet. They're not paying me to say that. Nobody's paying me to say anything. So, know that. No endorsements. So, whatever I say is just the honest truth. But all these King Oscar products are good. I'm going to try to get for snacks, too. Because... I don't know, because why not, right? So we'll try that on an upcoming episode. We have a couple more products. I want to get accessible products from the supermarket and also maybe some higher-end products from like Rainbow's Tomatoes Garden. I got some Ramon Pena's coming. Spoiler alert. So I'm excited for that. I hope you're excited for that. This can of uh, King Oscar mackerel is delicious also, my friends. So get you some. You'll be happy. And... um. Yeah, another good day on the Dean's List, my friends. It's Wednesday. 
God bless everyone. Thanks for showing up. And cheers, my friends. Stay cool.